Welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to show you how to make one of these down here. It's an animated lower third and I use them on my YouTube videos and on my streams as well. So what do we need, where do we get it from and how do we set it up? Let's find out. First of all we're going to need OBS because that's what I use for all my streaming and videos. It's thoroughly recommended, it's free, brilliant software. The next thing we're going to need is the animated lower thirds with dockable control panel. It's a plugin that you can get from the OBS website. I'll show you what this looks like in a minute, um, but all the links are in the description. Don't forget, if you've got any issues with installation or setup, then just drop a message in the comments below or head over to my Discord. Link for that is also in the description. One other thing to point out here is that in the uh, original installation guide for this, it states that you cannot actually use this on the Mac OS version of OBS. And the great news is that as of OBS 27, which came out fairly recently, you can actually now use this on Mac OS as well cool beans right let's have a look at what that means in practice so heading over to the OBS website what we need to do first is download information about the actual plugin and so on will be listed on this page it might be worth a read but first of all we're gonna grab this this is the folder that you get and there's a readme file and uh, the main thing that you're really gonna be looking at as part of this piece of work is in the lower thirds so as I say there are a number of steps that you need to do to set this up what we need to do is extract this to a particular folder. So in my case, I've extracted that to this folder here. And what we now need to do is go into OBS and point various bits and pieces to the files in here. So heading back over to OBS, let's look at this. This is our OBS. As, you, as I said before, the lower thirds is already set up here, but we'll pretend that it doesn't because it doesn't really matter for what we're doing. So. One of the things that you can install is this lower thirds hotkeys LUA script Lua and that script will enable hotkey support for this piece of functionality. What that means is that once you set all of these up you can actually set up multiple different types of, of um, overlays of these animated lower thirds and you can use your hotkeys to toggle which ones show. And I think that could be pretty useful in certain situations, like perhaps you've got multiple guests on screen and you want to have a different lower third for each guest that pops up on the screen. There, that would be a particular use case for this. So to install that, what you need to do is hit the plus button, go to the folder that you've extracted everything to, look in the lower thirds, select that, open, and what you'll end up with is this file here. That's it, that's all there is for that particular case. Click close, away you go. Next thing you need to do is install the actual docker here, the actual dockable control panel. So to do that, what we need to do is go into uh, your options here under view, docs, and then go to custom browser docs. And what we're gonna do here is, as you can see, I've created one called lower third, and I'm pointing it to the location. So if I was to do that again, I would need to copy and paste the Path. So if I go back to here and go into lower thirds, control panel, that's basically what you're going to be copying, that part and the control panel. So if I go back into here, you'll see the link like that, control panel. Uh, it's annoying that you can't actually just click a link and point it at a local file, but for some reason they haven't made that option available just yet. Maybe they'll do that as a future improvement. Anyway, so having added the dockable unit you will end up with this panel uh, it won't quite look as filled out as mine um, because obviously I've added stuff to it next what we need to do is create a browser source for the actual lower third to appear on our scene so find the scene that you want to add this to or a nested scene however you want to do it uh, in my case I'm just going to stick it on this test page that I've got here I'm going to call this lower third I'm going to go to local file and point it at, again, animated lower thirds where we extracted it to, under the lower thirds folder is this browser source. We're gonna select that, and what we're also gonna do is set the width to 1920 by 1080. Click OK, and we now have our browser source. And as you can see, I've already set some up just to show you, well, it's, it's what I've got on my video already. Nice handy reminder there. Anyway, so next thing is how do we customize this? So the first thing we're going to need to do is open up the main settings. 
and you will find that there are a bunch of various options on here um, and I'll take you through some of them but one very very handy one to know about is this already import and export I use that regularly because where I'm doing my videos sometimes I lose my lower panel settings and so what I've done now is I exported out my configuration settings so whenever anything goes wrong I can just re-import them and I'm back to square one that's quite a useful little tool to have um, another thing that you may notice is under appearance I've got all my switches on the left normally by default those switches appear on the right so that's how it will look to you but in my case I've switched it you might prefer it that way I know I do so that's the first thing next thing is well, how do we actually set up these lower thirds let's create a brand new one from scratch we click this you'll see at the moment there's not much going on this is the third lower third and I've toggled this on by ticking that box there uh, so let's let's put some text in there. Let's make make it show something. I'm gonna make it say ADJ streams, and I'm gonna make the info underneath say I like YouTube, and then <laughs> that's what appears. Now it doesn't look very that very interesting right now, does it? But we can customize this. We can start fiddling with a lot of the options. The first thing that you can do is change some of these settings here so like for example we can add a background color and you can toggle that on and off so if we change that to say blue and then set uh, this one to this color and maybe we want to uh, make the whole thing bigger so let's bump this up what that's actually doing now is setting up uh, it's scaling so if you do this the whole thing gets bigger now, as I said, you can have multiple different styles. So let's flick around with some of these. So we had this one here, which does that effect, which is similar to what I use on my streams currently. There's that one, which looks pretty cool. There's this one, which looks pretty cool. Uh, and as you can see there, that's probably space for having a logo. So we can do that. We can add a logo. To change the logo, you can go into here, choose an image select an image in my case from earlier i've already got some ready to go so i'll do that um, you can change the font to something and i'll show you how to do custom fonts very shortly uh, what else can we do so going back through here if i enable this and bring this you can also set the timings on this as well so that they stay on so that's that's very similar now to how my obviously the colors are different but that's how i normally have it on my streams Another cool thing that you can do with this is add rounded corners. So if I go into here, turn this on and tick this, you see that you can get this really kind of cool effect here. And if I combine that with that, you get a logo with a nice looking shaped lower third. Uh, right, and that's it. I mean, play around with it is my, is my um, advice to you, is just go in there, mess around with the different settings, adjust them however you want and once you come up with something that you like the look of then wow you've got it and then as i said best thing to do then is to export out your settings under system so that you've got those settings saved somewhere when you export what you actually end up with is a uh it you save them out as a text file there and that that contains all of the necessary configuration information to get you back to where you were if anything goes wrong and that's that's quite a useful thing to have so uh next thing i'm going to show you is how to do custom fonts on this so i've decided i don't actually want open sans on this i need to change it and i don't like any of these either so what i'm going to actually do here is add a new custom font to do that we click on custom we then go to where it says custom font what we now need to do is switch over to something like the Google web font. So if we click over to here uh, and I'm going to scroll through and find something that I like. So I found one that I like. It's called bangers. We're going to select that one, select this style. And what we now have is this bit of code here. And we're going to need to copy and paste this code into the dockable control panel. So the first thing we're going to take is this font family. If we copy and paste that. We drop it into where it says font family and then where it says import url what we need to take is this code here style copy again paste it into here click the add button 
and now you'll see that we've got bangers added to the options and we can see how that looks now if we go back down to our testing that we've got here and we'll go down to here we can add bangers and there you go custom font added it's that easy as i say play around with it i actually like this style i think i'm going to use something similar maybe not the colors but certainly the rounded edges here i might start using that on my videos in the future and that's it hopefully you like what you saw there it's really straightforward to set up i think uh, but as i say if you've got any any problems with this messages in the comments or find me on discord links in the description or pop over to twitch i may already be on live on stream right now so uh hope you've enjoyed that video and i will see you again very soon for the next video